Hi everyone, this is Rob from LifeHackingDIY.com. What I'm building this time is a weight bench with foldable legs. So I'm building it just to save space in the house. If it has foldable legs, we can just put it on the side. We're just having this bench here all the time. And I'm not that far in it as of now, but this is the base. It's 48 inches. So scroll to the end. Which, when I looked online, that's what a lot of weight benches were. And these are the legs, which are 17 inches plus one inch here, 18 inches tall. And so far what I've done is I've drilled holes for the brackets. These are the folding brackets. And this one's really a little sawdust. So these are the folding brackets. So I got these on Amazon for like 15 bucks. I'll put a link in the post, but on the exact ones, but they're pretty cool. So the way it works is right now, this has a metal bar that is in here, so it can't move. But if you push this down, the bar comes out and then it can collapse and fold. So it has a locking system in the legs. And another thing I've done is I've drilled the holes for all the brackets. I'm starting to install this one bracket, but the leg isn't installed yet, but the bracket is. So one thing I did is when I put in these holes, I drilled a hole and then I don't have a countersink bit, but I drilled a wider part at the top so that when these bolts go in to hold it in place, where you see they're like angular, this will go inside and it'll be flush. So if I go like hit this, um, well that one, I have to turn it with a screwdriver, but basically you can see how it's wider here. Um, and that's so that this will go in flush and that when I'm sitting on it, I'm not gonna sit and feel a screw um, from the bench. Okay, so next step I'm gonna do is insert all of these, I mean the whole, Project's really simple. Insert all these brackets, attach it to these legs, and then I'm pretty much done. I mean, I'll, I'll say, I'll maybe paint it, maybe stain it, maybe just leave it. It's gonna be indoors, so it won't really be exposed to much sun. But it just seemed like a good, I always wanted to try making foldable legs and see how easy or hard they were as a space saver. So anyway, on to the next step. So this is the finished weight bench. This is it on its side. You see, there's the four legs, which are really sturdy because they're four by fours. You can um, collapse the legs by doing this. That's this neat locking mechanism. Just push down on the lock, it pops up. One, two, three, four legs. So it's pretty cool. You see how you can see how small it is once the legs are compacted. Um, maybe this will show better. Yeah, as you can see, it won't take up any much space. You can store it somewhere when you're not using it, and then when you are using it, you just go there and then fix the legs back, and it goes like that. And he lifts it up, and it's, it's fully done. So anyway, I thought this was a really cool project, space saver. Get to use some new, new technology by having these brackets. Anyway, I thought it was really cool. It turned out really well. Um, I'll show you with the top. Again, with the legs, it's super strong, and with the top, um, I mean, I made it basically. I just googled the um, dimensions for weight benches and made it that way. Okay, so I think it turned out well. If you have any questions, let me know. And thanks for watching.